I have a great opportunity. Don't usually do two display videos in the day, but uh, it's moving day. I can't have these uh, in one place. For example, here's the basket that I kept them in from this week's top shelf finds. Uh, last couple weeks, if you will. It's moving day, which means I've got to move them forward into uh, different displays and different things I want to do with them. Uh, but they were the top shelf stuff, one eighth of maybe all that I was able to find. And uh, that's a blessing. That's a huge blessing. Uh, so I laid these out and uh, I knew it was moving day because there's just too much to keep accumulating without organizing it. Uh, and uh, once you see some of these, I mean, there's, there's the success and the gold strike of uh, the new site that I call The Garden. And then there's some others that just came in from places like Notchville and, and other places like this piece right here. Just came in yesterday. There's a video of that uh, at Hidden Hill. Just a great find. But I'm going to show you these in just a little chat about it. It's just, uh, to me, the method is pretty regular. You know, every week or two, if things are successful, I've got to do a moving day. So I'm going to go around this, and uh, I'm just stunned. There's so many weeks like this one that we're looking at right here as we go around where I say, man, you know, that's, I don't know if I can top that week. I mean, I know better than go out and try to top it. I just go out and do the best I can and move forward. Uh, and this piece came from the easement. Nice quartz work. I can give you a good close up and a second on each one of these pieces. Here's a piece from Notchville. So, you know, you go out and do the best you can. But this week here, I mean, look at these things from different angles. It's stunning. And I think, did I ever have a week or two weeks that was this good? Or could I ever think of bettering it? I don't know. You know, I, I try not to think about it. And I just collect what I can. And, you know, there's been a two-week, three-week period where I have four top-shelf pieces. Just four, you know. And uh, I'll... I'll take care of those and move them forward. Nice piece here from Notchville. Another piece here from Notchville. That was on film. And then I found a piece here before they split seated it over at the Archaic. Found a couple pieces over there, but it needs a good hard rain and I can still find a lot because it's all pure sand. So a good wash, even though it's split seated, I'll be able to find some straight base gill fur. That was a nice piece. It is a nice piece. That'll find a different home. A lot of these. And the subtleties of my comments, just remember that. I mean, this is a great Guilford Yuma. But it might be one of the pieces, one of the only Guilford Yumas that I actually, well, I, I've given away quite a handful, but I have a criteria inside my brain, and I know a lot of you guys function that way. Look at this piece. What a great piece, huh? Found at the Cove. And I don't find a whole lot of Guilford uh, Yumas at the Cove. That's a Guilford Yuma. Let's move around this thing and we'll save the inside for last. Here's a piece from Notchville. Some great stuff. So when you're looking at a, a, a shot like this, I accumulate in one or two weeks for those of you who just tuned in and I pop them in this little basket I have for the ones that I need to keep for display or that I'm going to consider hard as a fantastic gift. But most of the time these are all top shelf to me and I'm going to keep them. I have eight times as much that I found that, you know, broke in or maybe just didn't touch my heart. There's a great Morrow Mountain, white rhyolite. And most of the time when I'm having a moving day and going from piece to piece, they're all gonna be fantastic because it is my top shelf that I have to move on and make room. And then I'm just hoping, you know, this week, maybe the next week after it, that this basket will be full again. And you know what? Uh, in five years, uh, it's proven itself true. It, it just it just happens. Uh, and it's, it's, it's probably more humbling now, the fifth year, than it has uh, ever been. Nice drill. I'm going to try not to speed my brain along. This is actually like almost a, a greenish jade found at uh, the cove. I can give you the color on it. There you go. I don't know how I can highlight the color best. It's not coming in great on this gray, but it is translucent. Very unique material for around here.
won't get into it too much, just a great piece from the, the Cove. Very unique. I can. This piece I just found yesterday, W Properties. Did put it on film. But moving day, important. I mean, I'm seeing maybe four or five, six pieces that I, I'm gonna push off to another really great home. That way, Eastern Central North Carolina Artifacts can have a really great place to propagate the support for the North American Indian, both present day cause and the history of these hunter-gatherers, the history of the archaic period and the woodland period. Great piece here from the garden. And here's a piece that I just really like. We just looked at it from Hidden Hill. Now, let's finish up with the inside stuff. Some great stuff, as we can see different angles and shots of this stuff. The scraper. We'll just start with that. Good material. Just a great scraper. It's got edges on every, every single part of the circle. Fun stuff. Here's a great piece right here. Look at the base. It's ground. These inside pieces I should pick up. Trying to watch my time. I know somebody might need the bathroom or what have you, you know, just relaxing on a Saturday. Found at the Cove. Fantastic pieces on the inside. Mercy pieces for sure. My goodness. And here's a piece I found at Hardstone. It's the brother piece that we had on video. Look at that piece, will you? It's discolored from the way it was hafted in the sinew on the back side of it. Don't know if I'll be able to give you a look at that. My hands are, it's warm here. North Carolina, it's hot, I should say. Not warm, it's hot. My blood's pumping and sitting in here, it's hot. Bathroom's quiet. It's very well worked on the back side. I don't know a whole lot to tell about that piece except it matches. It's, I could put them in a set with the other one I found in a small frame. That might work someday, right? Not sure though. Just a great find. And this find. You don't find Schneiders a lot around here and then this material is great. It's like a, a reddish brown sugar quartz. It's a garden piece. Just look at that piece. It's one of my favorites. Mercy, right? But as I said, you know, as a collector, you move forward and you do your very best to to save. And you learn every single time out and you put it together and you should get more successful. And you should find more and more. You should study every time out and learn the lessons that the artifacts and that the land tells you this is an incredible stellar G10 Guilford Yuma from the garden. Just look at this piece and look at its point. Just look how they have that ridge right up there. Great stuff. My word. Anyway constitutes all of this stuff constitutes a moving day i can't keep accumulating this in that basket so uh wanted to show you this and we'll move forward and adjust and organize but uh just thankful that's all you can do is do your best in the immediate moment of what you live you can't control tomorrow appreciate you tuning in to indian trace though and that right there Well, that's a good look at Indian Trace. Hope you find that there.